So this uh, this hopefully will reflect a little bit on decision making and and how it relates to the way that people react to stuff. So I just got back from the store, actually got back from three different stores to get red hot uh, sauce to make um, chicken wing dip. Anyways, uh, Gabby wanted to make chicken wing dip. So, but I asked last night about that while I was actually at a bigger store where it would have been more time and cost effective to get. Um, apparently she didn't know that she wanted to make it at that point. So we, um, we didn't get it. All right. Long story short, she decides she wants it today, last minute before I've got to go do something. So I go to one store, their, their cashiers, uh, their software is down. So uh, I can't, can't get it there. So then go to the next store. Didn't have it there. Go to the next store. Finally, eventually find it, get it more expensive where I got it and also took away from what I was doing in the moment. Now, does it mean that we didn't get what we needed? No, we did. Um, I just didn't have the information that I needed last night to make the most effective and efficient choice. So we still ended up getting to where we wanted to get. It's just, it took me a little bit more time. I was a little bit less effective and it distracted me from probably what the best process was. So that's, the way decisions happen often, whether it's college decision or getting to, um, you know, the best job for you or the best salary, whatever it is, um, you know, that that's a part of the process. And so what happens is often we'll blame, oh, well, I didn't know that. Um, okay, well you can still get to where you need to get. It just might take a little longer. Like, you know, if it's college, you might have to go to a junior college or you might have to go to a prep school or you might have to do a PG year or you might have to whatever, fill in the blank. So, or it might mean that you start off at the wrong school and then you end up kind of bumping around from one four year to the next four year. And then you end up where you need to be. Or it means maybe you don't end up getting there until you're getting your master's. Or if it's jobs, you jump from job to job and maybe you end up doing your own thing. Who knows? The point is decisions. You can't just place blame because you didn't have better information. You have to seek out better information and be a little bit more forward thinking and understanding better how to ask questions. So we have people say, well, my kid's in seventh and eighth grade. I, I don't need to start preparing for college yet. Well, we did with our kids. So, I mean, you don't have to, and it's, but if you start all the way back then, then it's nowhere near as stressful. So it's up to you. You can start whenever you want to. You've already started whether you know it or not. It's just like goal setting. You already have goals, whether you know it or not. You've already made decisions, whether you know it or not. So whether you know it or not, you're already on the path and, you know, it's up to you to, you know, to decide whether or not you want to be active in that role in a positive way, or if you want to be passive, and that usually means in in a negative way, unfortunately. So whether it's red hot sauce or colleges, you know, you're working on, you know, the destination as we speak. And it's never too late. So even if you feel like you're backed into a corner, there's still options. It just might take a little bit more to get that flywheel going again. Have a great day.